Hello, my name is Matt from Mike Wine Associates. Today I'm going to talk to you about a Moroccan plaster technique called Tadalat. It's a functional plaster used in wet rooms and showers, and you can achieve finishes like this. Tadalat is a word derived from Arabic, meaning to knead, massage or caress. It's a Moroccan plaster technique used originally to waterproof systems for the storage of drinking water, and then as a coating for wet environments such as fountains and hammams or Turkish baths. The extraordinary impermeability characteristics are comparable, if not superior, to the cuccio pesto mortars used by the Romans for building aqueducts, baths and cisterns. Tadalat has been used outside of Morocco for a thousand years and suffice today on some historic buildings. The architecture is characterised by manually shaped surfaces, organic forms and rounded corners. A group from Kreidezeit, a German company specialising in natural paints and plasters, went to Morocco to investigate this fascinating material and wrote up their experiences in a book. Tadlacht by Gert Zeissmann and Martin Krampfer. They discovered the main base of the plaster is lime, specifically an eminently hydraulic lime which Berber artisans produced by burning limestone found a metre and a half below the ground in Marrakesh. The limestone is burnt in kilns fired by olive tree and palm wood. This makes the natural hydraulic lime which is then mixed with the sand made from marble or limestone. Natural Tadlacht is light in colour, so pigments are added to create a colour range. The application of Tadlac varies slightly in Morocco. Sometimes it's applied in one thick coat, sometimes as two coats. In the preferred two coat method, the first coat is left until almost dry, then the second coat is applied. Any trowel marks are removed and the, as the plaster starts to set, then the surface is flattened with the river stone, which compresses the aggregate and closes the pores. While the Tadlac still contains moisture, an olive soap is applied and stoned into the surface. This soaping provides the Tadlac with its waterproof qualities. The Tadalact will gain its bonding strength within the first 10 days and be fully set after approximately 30 days. In this DVD we will guide you through the tools and preparation needed and we will show you how to apply Cryodazite Tadalact and talk you through the methods, key stages and to obtain your own tactile, colourful Moroccan finishes. Tadalact is a lime based plaster so it contains calcium hydroxide which is caustic. It's essential to wear the right equipment. For mixing, we use a mask, goggles and gloves, and for application, just goggles and gloves. As you can see, there's a huge range of trowels. We tend to go with metal trowels for application, and plastic trowels for burnishing. And polishing stones, anything above number six on the Mohs scale. The Mohs scale is a scale of hardness, one being talc, 10 being diamond. You can get all shapes and sizes to fit in different areas. Alternatively, cry design make a ceramic stone, which is shaped, so you should be able to get most places with that. Personal preference with trowels. You know, don't be bamboozled by the whole range. Just use what's, what's preferable to you. For the first coat, I tend to go with a thicker metal trowel, because you want to have a scrape coat, so you need a lot of pressure on there. With the second coat, I use a metal trowel again, but slightly more flexible. You want to have a thin coat on there, just enough to cover the aggregate, and it's easier to fill with a flexible trowel. Burnishing, we go with plastic trowels. Starting thin, this is about a millimetre thick, very flexible. And then as the plaster dries, moving to something slightly firmer. It's about three or four mil. Tadalat's very versatile and can go on many different surfaces. For wet areas, we always recommend a tile backer board or waterproof panel. You can also go on to sand and cement, lime render, concrete blocks, and even some ceramics. We treat all the surfaces with Cryozite Lime or Finish. It comes in three grades, smooth, fine, and medium. The fine is the one we use for Tadalat. We then embed a mesh in the surface, which helps with shrinkage cracking. We're now ready to prime the board. We're going to use Cryodazite Lime Wall Finish, which comes as a dry powder. And as I said before, it comes in three textures, smooth, fine, and medium. We're going to use the fine. It's a hydrated lime-based product, so it can be pre-mixed and left in a tub, and it will last indefinitely. So it's handy to mix up before the jobs. I'm just going to pop on my safety gear. As you can see here, there's some I mixed up earlier. I'm just 
going to give it another stir to fatten the lime up and make it a bit more usable. It's a good sticky marshmallow texture, which is excellent for going onto the backing board. So if you place some of the products on your hook, Right, this is just the backing coat, a key coat, so you don't need too thick, ideally about one to two millimetres. And if you start from the top of the board, and just gradually fill the space. And you can come up to me, the layer at the top. There's no need to overload your hook, just put on your mount that you feel comfortable with carrying. And then once you've got to a stage where it's empty, obviously you load up the small. At this stage, don't worry too much about trail lines. Just get the whole surface covered. And once it's all covered, you just lightly take out a few of your lines just so the surface is a lot flatter. And then we're ready to apply the mesh. Now if you pre-cut your mesh to the size you need, if you're doing a sample board like this, or for the walls, it just makes life a lot easier. And if you lightly press the mesh into the surface, go with your hands, get any bubbles out, and if you go over again with your trap, that will just naturally bury the mesh into the surface. As I said before, this will help with any shrinkage cracks. And then you need to leave that now for about two or three days so it's fully dry. And then we can proceed with the uh, first coat of tablet.